All right, here we go, crash course. This is like take five. My goodness, I don't believe it. All right, how's it all going? Doing well, as always. This is uh, Buford here again. Um, what you're seeing now, people, is a 79 um, Murray Sunriser. Pardon me, my notes are scattered here. Anywho, uh, I had an idea in my head for five years. Summer of 02, I had an idea and what it was is pretty simple. It was a um, this kind of frame on big wheels, 26 inch wheels, like, like like mountain bike wheels. So I had the idea for years and years, talking to a friend of mine for on and off for that five year period. And summer of 07, he's like, dude, just freaking, I'm getting tired of hearing it. Build it already. I'm like, all right, yeah, sure, okay. So I started working on it. I guess it was uh, fall of 07. Yeah, fall of 07. And the first idea failed miserably. I had an 83 Schwinn Cruiser that, that did not fit. It didn't work. I couldn't, um, it wouldn't lay low enough. It wouldn't sit any lower than I uh, had it. And it, it just, long story short, guys, it didn't work. I said no. So I took it apart, scrapped it throughout the backyard. But uh, that bike was revived. And I'll show you later. That, bike, I, that failure actually worked later in another project. So it didn't go to waste, which is cool. So I turned this with the idea I had in my head into this this is the same bike you just saw earlier it's a 79 Murray uh, the back end is a early 40s cruiser uh, women's cruiser actually that my friend had, had in his yard for many years um, it's roughly guys it's not quite seven foot long it's in the area of seven foot long I'd say six and a half feet in that area. Uh, the wheels are 144 spokes per rim. And I think what else is pretty cool in this bike besides the way it looks. <laughs> uh, chain wheel came off a 78 Schwinn uh, stationary bike. It's a uh, 6 to 6 teeth, and I had that re-chromed because it wasn't uh, the, the greatest of shape when I got it. But uh, everything else, uh, as far as parts, you can get off the shelf. You can go online. I went through a catalog. But you can go online. Uh, tail fins are something my uh, my builder painter suggested. And I'm like, that's a cool idea. I like the idea. He called it a two wheel Cadillac. <sighs> Sorry, I got an itch. Bug bites. But uh, yeah, man, it looks pretty damn pretty cool. Um, I like how the wheels sit higher in the frame. Pretty cool actually it's got a wow factor to it guys it really does it's uh everywhere this thing goes it, it's like people just stop and turn at it and i'm like yeah <laughs> so it makes the head swell i don't mean to i mean to, i hate gloating i hate to brag but i'm proud of this but it came out very very well so uh the front fork is a 26 inch springer bent pro, uh bent springer fork took the spring out because again i wanted it low i wanted to sit as low as possible and be rideable um it's got full fenders. The original bike had fenders, so we cut that up. And from the frame there, like, I'll point it out to you, sorry. From here to here, this fender piece is original to the bike. So it's like 1940s, uh, probably late late 30s, early 40s. So it's a 70 year old back, a back end is solid steel. Oh, yeah, sorry. Going from my notes here, the back end is solid steel, the front end is hollow. So Getting these two to mate up and not flex was not easy. Uh, it took me two attempts, like I said before. But in this case, um, in this case, it uh, it flexed. I had it built in April '08, and during the summer of '08, it flexed. It wasn't much, but it cracked the bond. It cracked the uh, frame. It flexed, so I had to pull it apart late '08, early '09. So '09. I made it better actually as far as a little bit lower. We were actually rolled the roof frame forward some. But uh the guy I work with makes head badges for me. He makes these custom head badges. He can't uh make it anything original, I don't think. He might be able to, he's good. The guy is really, really good. But he made that for me. And he made the one in the back for me as well. Pardon my shadow. It's in the way again. Oh, it's in the way. But uh, 
Give me the back one as well. Right there. Yeah. Got a quick look at it right here. Uh, yeah, sorry for the pause, guys. Uh, I'm easily distracted. This bike does get ridden. Um, it weighs roughly 60 pounds. I weighed it at 57 and a half pounds. That's what it weighs. So it, it has some weight to it. It's pretty heavy. Uh, the chain is powder coated. Um, you can go through Dan's comp and get them. I just forgot the chain uh, Dan's comp. Pretty sure. But, uh,. It's two chains there, obviously, because one wouldn't fit that, that sprocket. It's just too big. But, uh... Yeah. The lights could work. These taillights can work. I just don't hook them up. Um, the wires are hanging there for them. But I don't have the patience to hook them up. And then something else to worry about. And I don't feel like doing it. But they can work. They do work. It's just... If I wanted to hook them up, I could. I just don't feel like doing it. But they can. Headlight the same way, all I gotta do is put batteries in it and it works. So, but uh, yeah, this bike is taking best of show, people's choice, um, cash prizes. This thing's been through a lot of shows since 08. I uh, had it to a parade this past weekend, actually, well, July 4th weekend, and uh, did very well. People were just, just amazed by it. But uh, as am I, like I said, it came out, it came out really well. The, um, the name on the bike, the Orion, came from a, uh, if you're into rock and roll, I sure as hell am. Um, the name came from Metallica's song, Orion. And a big reason why was because it, um, it starts off uh, pretty hardcore, and I like that. But uh, it, midway through, it, it kind of changes, and this bike did the same thing. It went through halfway, and the first project failed. And this one, was really picking my ass. It would not work. It, it just kept fighting and fighting and fighting. So toward the end, I had some extra help, and they, they figured out how to do the sleeve thing and the weld thing, and, and they really did a nice job on it, man. Incredible job. I could not get it right. Because as far as the heat, as far as everything, it just, ugh. Pain in the balls. But uh, it worked out really, really well in the end. Uh... Only real flaw of this bike, guys, is that the Murray and the Orion are switched. It's supposed to be the other way around. I wanted the Murray on top. Communication got screwed up, and he forgot, and I forgot to call him this and that, and then it came out that way. I didn't realize until about mid-build. I'm like, oh, because I had the frame wrapped up when I was building it. So it wouldn't scratch, and it's still scratch anyway, so... But, uh... All right, kitties, I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm just gonna give it a look and see what you think. This is bike six of seven custom bikes. So, all right. Go scare somebody, stay weird. Later.